Then I'm give you a little introduction. Um, my name is Philip. I'm the current uh, maintainer of Gajim. Uh, and I worked with um, uh, other contributor uh, to Kashim, Daniel, on 1.4, now for a few months. And we thought we show you the demo to get a little bit of feedback um, because it's uh, there are already big changes. Um, yeah, so let me uh, uh, quick start with how Kashim looks now in 1.3. Um, we had basically a, a, a multi-window concept, um, you know, the roster window where you have your contact list and your chat rooms and you had a, a chat window where you had in a list all open chats and yeah, you, you could, uh, if you wanted, you could even have every chat in, in a single window or something, but, but what you see here was or is the default. Um, so that's when I started to become maintainer, that's, that's how it was. Uh, that's basically the design from the 90s, MSN, I, ICQ, etc. Uh, all, 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 all chats looked like this. <laughs> uh, thanks, Sam. <laughs> Um, yeah, and today uh, modern messengers like Telegram or I don't know WhatsApp or even XMPP clients like Dino uh, look uh, kind of different. They follow uh, they follow uh, um, a one window concept, um, which you could also have in 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 a way in Gershim. Um Oops. This one. So, so now you have a single window application basically with the roster. And if you wanted, you could even hide the roster. So you had a chat list, and 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 your and your chat. So that's that's already quite near what other messengers uh, at the moment um, have. But as I said, it was never the default, and uh, yeah. Now we completely redesigned this. Um, we wanted, we followed also a, a one window concept. Um, and yeah, I go ahead and try, uh, try to show you how this looks now. Okay. So now it's only one window. Um, we have here on the on the bottom that's like the account indicator. That's my avatar. Um, you have a status um, icon for I'm online. The screen. You have an account color. I come later back why why this is maybe important. Um, then we have our chat list here. Um, you can you can search of course the chats. Um, you you have a plus button to to start new chats. Um, uh, you have here on the side we call it workspaces. Um, a workspace you can group uh, multiple chats into one workspace. Yeah. Um, so for example, let's make a new one. Let's say I have I want I want a family workspace where where only uh, family chats are. Um, and then I open some chats. This is kind of how it looks. Um, there is no history because I started this new, but let's join a group chat, for example, to, so we see something. Um, yeah, and that's how it looks now. 
we also really sent the chat. So it's more like other messengers. Um, you here see, for example, the subject of the of the of the MOOC of the of the group chat. Um, we have also infinite scroll, but it's not infinite here because um, I joined currently, and we don't request um, from the archive currently. Um, so infinite scroll is only um, your history, basically. If you if you have seen it since, basically, if if I join. It, it, it's only requests from your own database, not not from the archive right now. But let's say if you if you join this chat for one month, then you could scroll up the whole month. Um, okay, what can we do? Say we can also pin chats if you have really important chats, um, because we got the, also the feedback um, that it's kind of um, People don't like it if if the chats reorder um, uh, when 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 new messages arrive. We have here uh, activity sorting, so all chats are sorted by activity normally. So ch chats uh, who get new notification move to the top, but this is not happening in in the pinned chats. Yeah, so your your most important chats um, they don't get sorted on activity, so that it doesn't constantly change the order of, of, of the, of the chats. Um, yeah. Okay. Then what, what can you do? You can move chats to other workspa workspaces. Yeah. I can move this to family. Um, you can, you can give the workspace a custom name, whatever you like. You could also use a image as an avatar. You don't have to use this color with um, with the letter. You can also upload an. Or it's not uploading. Uh, you can also use an avatar. Um, yeah, that that's how the notification look now. Um, you see a little notification icon, and and you also see it on the workspace. So if I switch away. I, I see all the notifications in this workspace. Um, yeah, I can show the sure search, but I think everyone knows that. Um, let me look what can I show you. Okay, then the roster. Um, people fear that we remove the roster because it seems uh, it's it's for many people still quite important. Um, I, I myself, I also use the roster quite much, but uh, in a in a work context, for example, um, if you have many colleagues from from one department or one group, um, it's it's easier to find. Uh, you you basically want, for example, to see who is online in this group. Then it's kind of hard if you just have an endless chat list of open chats. You cannot easily see. Uh, who is online from my, I don't know, from some department in work or, so, or something. So the the roster still exists. Uh, if you click here on the account, then you have the old roster. It's it's a kind of, it looks a bit uh, new now, but um, it's, it's still the same roster. You have roster groups. Um, you can move people between groups. Um, and you can double click them to start a chat with them. Yeah? So the only difference to before is it, it's not a, own, a separate window anymore. Um, you basically have to click it to see it. Um, yeah, so let me quick look what I have still on my list moved. Okay, workspace. Okay, what you also can do um, is I add it now a few workspaces. Uh, you can reorder the workspaces like you wanted to. I want to show that. Um, then in the chat, uh, let me join something. Yeah, um, 
We have uh, full uh, styling support. Um, from the styling set that uh, I think Sam out of. <laughs> um, and what we, I can show you, we have um, now quotes intended. Uh, yeah. And we can also have, I don't know, and we have code snippets. So if you do now what you probably know from uh, GitHub or other chat messengers is so yeah it's still kind of rough around the edges we, we work on the styling uh, still a bit but uh, you have full syntax highlight and code snippet support um, in the chat um, yeah what if we okay then we Search. We have also search now. Uh, looks okay. Um, I don't know what should I search. There you go. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. So it scrolls and highlights the row you can search. Um, I don't know, I can search also more than, than it looks like this. Um, you can also search in all chats, not only in this. Um, and it jumps then to the chat and presents you with the highlighted line. Um, yeah. What did we do else? We redesigned the profile window. Um, we have now, this is now um, for cut fear, so uh, supports now for cut fear. So yeah, you can add as many entries as you want here. So we try to like implement the, not, not the full for cut for spec, um, we only implemented the most used uh, fields because the, for, the full forecast for spec is quite uh, big. Um, yeah. Then maybe what's also interesting is you have here a privacy button. You can choose what you want uh, that is public and what information is uh, private. So picture name, uh, you can, with name is not meant the full name, it's meant the nickname. Um, you, can, you can choose to make this public uh, because then if this is public, then also servers can, uh, can translate uh, this to, to, to the uh, legacy. Uh, avatar specs like the problem with uh, the problem uh, with um, avatar on pops up and for cut on for cut for is it's on pops up and pops up on, on, on normally only roster context can access pops up but uh, especially for the avatar uh, you you usually want uh, that also in public group chats uh, this can be accessed and we try to make this here possible. So picture and name means if you set it public, that this means uh, that the avatar on pops up and the nickname on pops up uh, is set to public. And then potentially a server could uh, answer requests for avatars, for nicknames in public group chats from other participants. Um, and yeah, you could, also choose that the contact infos, so the real forecard with all your private information is public. Uh, it's maybe for some people useful, um, but defaults to um, 
off normally so it's normally private by the default um yeah that's the new profile window um and last what have i last that's the contact info dialog we did this also new um so i use holger here um yeah normally here if the user has a, a far cut then it's here sure um let me look if i have here something ah here it's better um we have settings not many but we 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 we, we want to uh, put more contact settings here but right now we don't we only have the the ones for um roster presence um you can show groups at at this contact to other groups you can add a personal note and save this on the server <laughs> uh, i don't actually know if this some uh, someone uses this but it's rather easy to implement um and you have a device page uh so you get all the informations uh, we have on this on, on the clients of this contact um like software operating system local time and so forth um you can also uh, choose to edit the nickname if you like don't like daniel as name um okay mm, i think this was it that's that's the biggest changes uh, i am surely forgot something but yeah the, the whole chat thing is is basically the, the big new thing yeah so if anyone has question or feedback um please ask away i don't know if you can see the chat or not since you're sharing your screen but uh flow in the chat asks are workplaces synced with the user server um okay are the workplaces synced with other clients i know they're not right now i uh, I'm open to uh, suggestions how to do that, probably with um, um, with, with private XML or something, storage on the server. But yeah, definitely if there, if there would be except for something like this, um, I'm open to implement something like that. Okay, um, I, I read the chat now. Okay, um, I see, okay, questions, uh, okay, sync with users, okay, when will it be published? Um, yeah, there are quite some things we, we have to fix. Um, as a, it's, it's usable now, uh, but um, yeah, we, we have to, we, I think one or two months if, if we, if we, if we get not too sidetracked. Um, so somewhere in the summer i think um does it work with mobile um <laughs> no i don't know actually um please try it and tell me but uh i have to say um we we don't really have a uh, time to like uh to like make this work on on another platform because kashim also already is on three platforms and our mobile is uh, quite a lot of work in my opinion um what encryption type for messages yeah gashim supports omemo and also um uh open pgp the legacy also the new one so nothing changed there uh, it's it's the same like in 1.3 um Omemo, not the newest version, but but I think uh, almost all, all all clients that uh, support Omemo support our Omemo version. So I think this is quite compatible right now. Okay, let me get to the next question. Um, 
Okay, there is not anyone. But uh, one thing I want uh, I remembered I wanted to show you. Um, we still have multi account support, and that's uh, where the account color comes in that I uh, previously referenced here, the orange. Um, if you activate a second account, then it shows up. You can choose the color from the account uh, yourself. Um, that's, that's nothing. Uh, you can choose it here, for example. Um, and if you have multiple accounts, then the account color shows up here on the chat. Um, so that if I join JDEF from another account, then uh, I can clearly uh, separate the accounts. Um, of course, you could also move the chats into a separate account workspace, if you like. Yeah? But yeah, that's up to you. Um, probably we we'll make a make an option to disable this bar also. Uh, I don't know. It, it's all, all kind. Uh, it's all very colorful right now. But uh, yeah, as I said, you can choose the colors. So um, it's it's up to you what you do the, with that. Where would new chats appear if I added you to my contact list or or sent you a message? Um, since they wouldn't be in one of these groups already. Um, we uh, currently. Actually, I don't know, <laughs> but uh, what I want to do is um, I want to make a, a default option. So like I can say, OK, this is my default workspace. Everything new that no open chat is there or any, any anything that, uh, yeah, anything where I don't have an open chat moves into this default workspace. Uh, that was my initial idea. I uh, I didn't found a better method. I don't know if anyone has better ideas. I'm open to it, but that's that's what we want to do right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Flo. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, th I don't think it's too uh, too hard to implement this sync thing, um, but um, somebody should write some standard on it, I think. Yeah, if anyone has uh, any other input or, or, or stuff he wants to see or like, or I don't know, maybe someone doesn't like something. We, we tried to, like, we looked at all kinds of chat applications out there. Um, and and try to like steal the best things from each. Um, yeah, but <laughs> we don't reinvent the wheel here. <laughs> um, but I, I, I don't think we need that. Uh, we just need uh, good working XMPP clients. Yeah, of course. Um, uh, also, the question is, um, what's your feeling about switch on or memo encryption as soon as I receive the message from the other side? Yeah, um, the, the Omemo is right now a plugin, and uh, as we we had much work um, with with all this U, UI redesign, um, there are definitely things we can do better with encryption. Um, like it's a, a much asked future to enable a default encryption so people don't have to enable it all the time. Um, it's There are issues on our tracker for that and it's on the list, uh, but it definitely will not make uh, 1.4 because uh, we need all our focus on the UI thing. Um, we, we changed like thousand lines of code, um, like we, we threw out like code that is 15 years old and we, we, we have to just try to not to lose too many features uh, people actually use in the, in the, in the, in the 1.3. So that's our main goal right now. The light, light as a, yeah, we don't implement teams in as a GTK has, has team support. Um, I just uh, showed the dark team. 
because I, I just tried to to um, to switch to light, but it looks absolutely horrible on 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 my uh, on my GNOME setup here. So um, I, I I chose to show this now in dark, but um, maybe. Daniel, I don't know. Maybe you can share a screenshot from your friends if if if, you, if it doesn't contain too many private data, uh, then then you could post this in the chat, and then people could look at the light theme. Um, another question: What do you think about Rust? I don't know if this is directed to me. Um, Great thing. I don't know uh, much about it, um, but yeah, uh, it, 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 I don't. Uh, I will not uh, rewrite the hundred thousand lines of code now in a different language. Um, I think we rather work on, on 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 stuff that people can see and use. Yeah, Daniel posted the link in the chat. I can also sh open it. Okay, it's a bit small. But maybe you can see it. That's how how the light team would look like. It's just white <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I I I I like the dark team more. Okay, that's it. If if nobody has questions, then I would say we made the thirty minute. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.